Hey, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I hope you all have had a great week. Uh, and I welcome all of you to our weekly community of practice Sunday check-in session and half hour of Dharma, reflection and community connections. So if you are a new member of our community, please accept our wholehearted welcome to you. If you have any questions regarding our practices or topics, we are all here to help. So it is customary for people in Australia to begin any meeting by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. So I would like to start today by acknowledging the Daro people as the traditional owners of the land on which Nantian Institute resides. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of various lands on which you all are. And I pay my respects to the elders in the past, present, and emerging. So the check-in sessions has been developed by our communities of practice team and the entire community. The purpose of this session is to develop a reflective practice in response to changes. So guided by humanistic Buddhism, we would like to cultivate our practices to build memorable friendships. So today, we are very grateful to have a new facilitator to lead the session, Dr. Cecilia Manika, who's one of our dearest friends and teachers in the community. And she's located in the beautiful Philippines. Today, she's going to guide us to the learning of the true meaning of giving. So now let's welcome Cecilia. Thank you very much, Eugene and Xiaoming for your support and warm greetings to everyone. Thank you, Venerable Zhui and Priscilla and all of you for this honor and privilege to serve this beautiful community. I will be with you for five Sundays, including this one, but my presentation are all pre-recorded because of Wi-Fi instability in the Philippines. So we let technology take care of its own unreliability. We will have the usual mindful check-in followed by a short Dharma talk on unconditional giving as inspired by Venerable Master Xing Yin. So I now give back the floor to Eugene who will play the pre-recorded videos for all of us. Okay, thank you, Cecilia. So now let's begin. We will now begin our mindful check-in. Find your most comfortable position Feet flat on the floor if you're sitting down. Spine erect, but not rigid. Let us focus on the scalp, the skin covering your head. Remove all tensions and ligament pressures from your scalp. Your scalp and your whole head is now feeling very relaxed. Let this relaxation feeling flow down now to your entire face. Relax all facial muscles. Let the relaxation feeling now flow down to your neck, all the way to your shoulders. Release all tensions from your neck and shoulders. And let this relaxation feeling now flow down all the way to your arms all the way to your fingers. We will now relax your back, starting from the nape to the tip of the spine. Relax. And let this relaxation feeling now flow down to your thighs, legs, all the way to your ankles, feet, and toes. Let the relaxation feeling now flow down from the top of your head all the way to your toes. Your whole body is feeling very relaxed. Let us now focus our attention on the nose as we become aware 
of our in-breath and out-breath without any judgment, without any control. Just breathe naturally when your whole body is feeling more and more relaxed. Let us focus now our attention on the ears as you become aware of the noise in the room and you become aware of your body sitting in meditation. Slowly move your fingers and bring our attention to the eyes. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes with a smile. Auspicious greetings. This is Cecile Manikan, and our topic for today is about giving. Venerable Master Xing Yin reminds us that from the moment of birth to the moment of death, we are always on the receiving end of someone else's generosity. Giving, therefore, is a way of expressing gratitude and appreciation while establishing good conditions and building affinities amongst people. But there are many forms and levels of giving. We can give material, moral, or spiritual goods. To give money or material possessions is the easiest to accomplish. To give praise or offer words of encouragement is a virtue of higher attainment. But to give the teachings of the Buddha is the greatest gift of all, giving unsurpassed merit to the giver while the receiver gains truth, confidence, courage, peace, and ultimate freedom. As we receive merits according to what we give, Master Xing Yin encourages giving as incense from the heart that brings our full being into the act of giving. The essence of the highest form of true giving, which does not have any condition or expectation. For example, becoming a mother or a parent makes us understand the, this very natural aspect of giving, where one gives purely from one's heart without counting the cost or effort to care and nurture a child. A mother gives because it is in her nature to give. Motherhood does that to her. But at every station in life we are in, the principle of total giving remains our highest attribute to ourselves. Nature reminds us of this unconditional giving. The sun shines, not for itself. The river flows, not drinking of its own water. The tree does not eat of its fruits, while flowers bloom not for themselves, and neither the moon glows for itself. Living for others is the law of nature. And Buddha nature is such. Let us now reflect on our own mode and language of giving. How do we give of ourselves to others? Let us share our thoughts with our community friends in the breakout session. Thank you. So welcome back everyone and thank you very much. I hope you've had some meaningful sharing. So maybe what we can do now is we would like you to share your own thoughts. So Han is saying, giving not only to sentient beings who need help, however, should be all animals as well. Oh yes, sure. Being kind to animals. And 
form is saying giving is receiving okay, as well. And William is saying giving is receiving. It is a fortune to be.